Hello everyone, welcome back to Easy Education London and this is what I regret about A-level maths. So number one, it was not starting revision early enough. So um, A-level maths requires a lot of practice and understanding of concepts. Many students regret not starting the revision early enough, which can lead to a lack of confidence and poor performance in exams. So that's something, unfortunately, um, I... Well, uh, yeah, it's something that I did do, unfortunately. And that's one thing I would advise you all is not to delay things and make sure you start early. Because when you start in September, especially in year 12, you're still in this summer holiday mood and you think you can take it easy. But soon uh, you will realise how the time goes by very, very quickly. So it's important you start preparing and you start revising from the get-go, from the beginning. Number two is not seeking help when needed. So maths can be a challenging subject and it's important to seek help when you're struggling. Many students regret not asking for help from their teachers or peers when they needed it, which can lead to gaps in understanding and difficulty in progressing. Uh, so if you need help, if you require support, if you want to achieve excellent results, do contact our company, Easy Education London. We are providing online tuition with qualified and experienced teachers to help support and guide you in your A-level, uh, whether it's maths, biology, chemistry, um, or even if you have siblings in GCS, studying GCSEs or in primary school, we have the best teachers and we have a successful track record to help you all achieve the best grades possible. And ultimately, we're here to make your education easy. Number three is not practicing enough past papers. So A-level maths exams often follow a similar format and practicing past papers is crucial for understanding the style of questions and improving exam technique. Many students regret not practicing enough past papers, which can result in being unprepared for the actual exam. So this is quite self-explanatory. So past papers, you need to, once you've uh, understood and learned the content, you need to start going through past papers marking them and getting feedback from a teacher. Number four is not focusing on understanding concepts. So A-level maths is not just about memorizing formulas and procedures. It's about understanding the underlying concepts and principles. So many students regret not focusing enough on understanding the concepts, which can make it difficult to apply them in different contexts. And number five, not managing time effectively. So A-level maths exams are time limited. Remember, you are against time and time management is crucial. So many students regret not manage, managing the time effectively during exams, which can lead to rushing through questions and making avoidable mistakes. So um, unfortunately, some students do struggle with time and they are unable to complete the paper in time conditions. So how do you combat, how do you tackle that issue or this dilemma? In simple terms, it's timing yourself when doing past paper questions. And the more you do, the better you will be with time. So uh, with, uh, with these uh, sort of issues, you have to practice. Practice makes perfect. And you'll see on day one how you take time completing the paper. But by day 30, you will be more confident and finish the paper with more time to spare. And last but not least, not reviewing mistakes and learning from them. Mistakes are a valuable learning opportunity, but many students regret not reviewing their mistakes and learning from them. This can result in repeating the same errors in future exams. So it's important whether you're starting A-level economics, A-level English, um, A-level psychology, you are reviewing your mistakes and looking at the common areas or the topics that you're struggling with and losing marks on. So what I would do uh, personally is I would have a grid and, and I'd make a list of the topics I'm struggling with. Let's say, for example, with maths, um, if I'm going over s statistics and if there's a particular module or a topic that I keep on uh, losing marks on, I'll make a note of it and make sure I print out past papers regarding that topic and I'll seek support and help from my tutor and that way I am better prepared for the exam and I know that topic I will be confident in answering as well. So these are uh, six uh, top ways uh, again that you need to avoid and I hope you found this video beneficial. Um, it's quite simple but it's self-explanatory but again these are um, some top tips for you to uh, remember and consider 
in preparation for your A-levels. Uh, do follow us on social media, Easy Education London on Instagram and TikTok. We will be uploading uh, on those social media platforms. And also, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. How are you finding our latest series of videos? Are you finding them beneficial? Are you finding them insightful? And any other questions you have, feel free to um, you know leave a message on one of our YouTube videos. Thank you all for your continuous support. Um, it's been an incredible journey, and you know I've received uh, many many messages from many of our subscribers and many of my own students as well, uh, thanking um, us for the videos, thanking us for the help. And I truly appreciate your support uh, from all subscribers. And our aim is to essentially grow the channel and take it to the next level. Now, to do that, we will need your support in spreading the word and sharing it with all your family and friends. Um, and in general, if there are any things that you would want to see on the channel, do let us know because I'm more than happy to cover these topics or these areas on our YouTube channel. And that takes us towards the end of the video. If you have stayed until the end, please leave a comment saying, "I've." Oh, oh, uh, if you've stayed until the end of the video, write the word easy in the comment section and um, we'll see how many people stayed until the end. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share for more. Thank you.